Welcome to another episode of The Latest with Maya. Today I am having a conversation with actress Adrian C. Moore. To name just a few of the things Adrian has been in, she's been in Orange is the New Black, Shaft, and Pretty Hard Cases. I loved Pretty Hard Cases, and I am so excited to talk with you today. Thank you so much for being on my show. Oh, I'm the one that's honored and excited to be here. Thank you for having me, Maya. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so let's get started. So who has had the biggest impact on you professionally? <sighs> Wow. Um, who has had the biggest impact on me? I mean, there's like so many names, honestly, that I have to give honor, you know, to because I feel like even now in my life, I'm still reflecting on conversations, lessons that I've learned from them. Um, you know, and that's from my theater you know, professors in middle school up to my graduate school professors, even the actors that I worked with, but if I have my parents, uh, but if I have to choose the biggest impact, woo, mm, professionally, mm. I would have to say, I mean, like I said, so many names, but she's a dear friend. She's also a fellow actress. Um, uh, her name is Crystal Dickinson. Uh, she's a professor. She's taught also. Uh, and I, I, I say her because I think she's the one that really convinced me, <laughs> you know, when my life is life in moments, yeah. that I could become professional at this. You know, I've had tons of people that supported me and would, you know, go to my plays and, you know, things like that. But I think she was one of the first ones that I had a conversation with where, you know, and I was when I was in her office crying because <laughs> I wanted to be an actress, but I didn't know how I could do it. And she was like, there's a reason why you're having this struggle because you're fighting with what you really want to do versus what you feel like you have to do. And at that time I was working in the professional setting and I hadn't really, you know, started into the professional world of acting. And she was like, I think you're fighting it. I think you just need to go ahead and do it because you can do it. So I think she has had the biggest impact on me in terms of me thinking and believing that I could go, you know, have a professional career at acting. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And also, can I just throw in one more name? My yes. brother, Wayne. My brother. Oh. <laughs> He'll be bad if he watched this and I didn't say his name. I was <laughs> but he also was one of the ones that I remember when I first kind of let the little secret that I was thinking about becoming an actress. He was like, I could totally see you doing that, Adrian. Like, that's what I see for you. So those two people, for sure. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who has had the biggest impact on you personally? I mean, I got to give that one. Again, you, 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 you and these questions. Get the good <laughs> ones. Um, Thank you. And there's so many people that I that I obviously want to honor. Uh, I think most I, first I have to honor my parents um, because my my dad uh, may he rest in power. He always told me I could do anything I put my mind to. He always encouraged me. He always said I was good at anything that I tried. Um, he always encouraged me to have a curiosity about everything. Uh, sometimes to a fault. Um, and then my mom, you know, she always told me to never settle. Um, she always told me to put my best foot forward. Uh, she always taught me to have a plan of action. Don't just do anything without a plan, but have a plan of action because that will uh, help you become successful. You know, so definitely my family, my parents, you know, and then I'm again, just being surrounded by so many people who um, do things that encourage and inspire me. Um, but my parents first, you know, 
they were my my heart center for sure. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, what genre of movie would your life story be told as? Oh. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> I would say definitely a comedy yeah. with a little bit of drama <laughs> sprinkled in um, a bit of action. You know, I got three dogs. <laughs> 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 so they require a lot of physicality. Yeah. And um, uh a little bit of a rom com, yeah. oh, I think. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With a hint of a procedural. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> I love that. I watched that movie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> maybe some reality. Maybe some reality TV's in there too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I um, yeah, I rom coms are some of my favorite, like one of my favorite genres. So mm -hmm. I would want my life to be a rom com. So. I know, right? Yeah. Although sometimes I'm like, you 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 could either be like pining for someone too much that it just breaks your heart, yeah. or 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 just pining to the point where you're just like, I just you know, and it's and it's not happening for you. They're just like, oh, I just give up. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, rom coms are overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> Over raw with emotion. Yes. And I'm there for every bit of it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have a favorite rom com? Oh. Ooh. Mmm. Okay, well, you know, I was a Meg Ryan, like, like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love a Meg Ryan when Harry met Sally, um, Sleepless in Seattle. Um, mm. I mean, I just, you, why does she have to be one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I go through like the eras, like the eighties, yeah. the nineties, the two? I may have one in each of those eras. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, lo always loved a Julia Roberts. I mean, I think I watched Pretty Woman for an entire summer one year. Oh. Like that was like the summer flick oh. every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's so mm -hmm. hard to pick just one wrong. So hard, like ten things I hate about you. I mean, they just like the, I, there's so many in my brain right now. Yeah. You know, yeah, there's just too many good ones. Do like you're you need to take pick your top five or top yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I um yeah. Some of my favorites are really anything Reese Witherspoon. Oh, oh, Sweet Home Alabama? Yes. <laughs> I love that one. What's the one that she did? Oh, I can't think of the name of it. But I feel like she was like she had a baby or she was about to have a baby. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. But she was like really poor. Is any of this ringing a bell? Kind of. I can't think it of was one of those ones that wasn't really talked about like she it was like quick I'm look you about to make me have to google Reese with a spoon right now because I know it's gonna pop up in my brain but she, you know but anyway it'll come if, if it comes to me I'll like throw it out there it'll probably be like okay. 10 minutes later we'll both be crying sobbing and I'll be like oh yeah this is the name of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I um yeah one of my um I think like it's so hard for me to pick a favorite one of hers but one that is definitely up there is her movie home again oh yeah 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 i have seen that movie more times than i can count yeah I, that was a good one 
Yeah. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then like legally blonde, I mean that's you know, goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> goes without saying goes without saying I mean is that more of like a rom-com or I guess so why not sure yeah yeah in any case yes yeah oh 13 going on 30 is oh <laughs> my favorite yeah, that was Jennifer um Garner Garner yes yeah. oh yeah that was a good one yes so yeah. many good ones yeah. So like we we can we should do a rom com like marathon. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we should. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. So, what small things bring you joy on a daily basis? Well, definitely my dogs um they have brought a consistency um in my life that I think you know I I live a sort of nomadic life and so they bring a structure and a consistency and a joy to my day um every day because I have to interact with them every day um what else uh music I'm usually playing something um in my in my space wherever I am, headphones on if I can't, you know, play it out, blast it out loud. Uh, but music for sure. And uh this is gonna sound weird, but food. Oh, yeah. I don't think that sounds weird. I think <laughs> Okay. That, I'm yeah. like sometimes in the middle of the day I'm like, mm, I think it's time for a sweet treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so yes, for sure. Yeah. Uh and I and I love um I don't get to do it every day when I'm in the city. Um, uh, but when I'm down south, I do it more often because I'm it's just it's just more more um uh uh presents to me more often. But I love being out in nature. I love when I can just walk around um sometimes with my feet just like in the grass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like connecting with nature that way it brings me like joy and peace and and calm oh I love that yeah yeah um yeah so I am pop culture obsessed and go in stages I mean if you can't tell by my wall I, look when I saw the team look I was like oh She's cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. She's a cool one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I go in stages of shows that I cannot stop watching. Uh, is there a show that you are currently obsessed with? Oh, um, <laughs> um, I don't know if I should be admitting this. No, I proudly <laughs> say this. Um. I love reality TV shows. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love some of the Real Housewives. Um, that, but I think this is because sometimes um, I need the absence. It, it's going to sound really interesting, but I sort of need the absence of scripted drama and need like reality, unscripted, scripted drama. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I love that. I love... Um, I'm definitely a big, uh, which is, you know, why I loved Pretty Hard Cases so much. I love crime drama shows. So I just finished watching this series on uh, called American Conspiracy. And and I just kind of, I, I get into these like patterns and these worlds where I just like will watch marathons of it. Um, uh, I just caught up on... Um, on uh what was I just watching the other day um oh my gosh I'm I'm blanking right now because I was watching the crime stuff the other day it'll it'll come to me but yeah I have I do I do like marathons yeah. of of things oh utopia there's that's where it is oh I haven't heard of that one with uh, Z uh Zendaya oh uh, sorry, I I kind of heard what you said. Part of it cut out. No, I oh I, Utopia. I, yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You Euphoria. 
oh, did I say Utopia? I meant to say oh. Euphoria. <laughs> yeah, that's just why I was confused. I was like, I haven't heard of Utopia, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's the world we aim for, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the world she was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now I was kind of hesitant. I was like, do I want to say it's actually euphoria or just like? <laughs> you should have. You should have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Look, like I said, I just started watching it. So um, there we have it. Yeah, I um, I haven't seen that one. My mom and my sister watched it and then... I was planning on watching it and mm -hmm. then but like they kind of know the shows that I like will like and won't like and so mm. they watched Euphoria and then told me they don't think it's a show that's kind of like that I, the kind of show that I would like so uh, well I it's it, they have a lot going on yeah <laughs> they have a lot going on i mean it's to the point it made me think like wow is this what our younger generation is dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis wow like it's like you know it's, it's it's it it brings up a lot of you know topics that that yeah young folks are are, are having to deal with today and it's and it's and it's overwhelming if i could be honest with you so i can i can only imagine why they would be like i don't know i don't know <laughs> if yeah. this is your bag of tea it yeah. could be a lot but yeah. that's also kind of what's intriguing about it as well yeah you know yeah yeah um yeah i i love zendaya so i really wanted to watch it and then when they mm. told me they weren't sure i'd like it i was like i i trust them so and they're used yeah to like when they say they don't think i'll like a show that's fair. That's fair. You got to go with people that, that that you trust. Yeah. But you can yeah. also like watch new episodes. Yeah. <laughs> make, the, make the choice for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's the curiosity in me. I'm like, oh, wow, I don't think I'd like it, huh? I wonder why I didn't think I would like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's sometimes me. And then other times I'm like, I want to, there's some shows that I want to, watch but like if they tell me they like with euphoria i wanted to watch it and then they said that they don't think i'd like it and i was mm -hmm. like well, there's kind of other shows i want to watch a little more so then i but then there's sometimes that they say i don't think i'll like a show and i'm like well i'm gonna try it anyway and then i yeah usually i'm like yeah you're right i you're <laughs> that's right. My what's one of the shows What's one of the shows you want to watch that you haven't gotten around to yet? Oh, um, I'm trying to think. There's a there's a lot. I um. Oh, now I'm blanking on everything. There was... Oh, it's fine. I blank all the time. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> there was just one. It's fine. I I called you. I, look, you're supposed to be asking me the questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is a new one, new show that just premiered that on the CW called Sight Unseen that I really want to watch. Oh yeah, I think I've heard about that one. I think I've heard I've heard about that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that one I I do really want to watch. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. But lately, I've been, I've been going back and rewatching um, the show White Collar because uh, uh, that is one of my all time favorite shows, and it's a comfort show of mine too. So I've been going back and rewatching that. <laughs> That's one of the ones I've been wanting to watch. Um, it's it's on my like list of of got to get to that one. But that's the one like those I I would binge that you know. So I have to like yeah. be on a vacation somewhere or somewhere where I can, you know, watch it for hours and hours and hours because I feel I feel like it's that provocative, yeah, of a show. That's the word that I I feel like I remember coming to mind when I would watch the previews and stuff about it, the trailers and so forth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so good. It's yeah. 
it's one of my all-time favorite shows, so I will just rewatch it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what is your favorite way to procrastinate? Probably watching TV. <laughs> yeah. That's really Probably fun. watching TV, um, listening to music. Yeah. Um, Uh, those are probably my top two. Sometimes I'll get into these little cleaning fits. Like if I'm if I'm home, if I'm not traveling somewhere and I'm home finally, there's always these little projects that I that you know are piles in my home that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get to that when I get back. You know, da da da. da. So you know, there could be a time where I need to be writing something or need to be learning lines for an audition or reading a script or you know whatever it is and I'm like I'm going to finally get to this pile of 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 uh envelopes that have been sitting here for a month yeah so that's that's how I kind of get you know one of my favorite ways and but yeah like cleaning like I'll get into these mm. you know OCD fits oh yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I um yeah, I'm like I am uh I have a very hard time being organized. Really? Uh, yeah, I so I my mom is so organized and so I kind of drive her a little bit crazy that I just have piles because I I don't know why I I don't know. Organization is just not my strong suit. So hey, and it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. They have plenty of people out there in the world that make it their profession, <laughs> and you can ask them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just, or you know, you know, I used to have this agent. She was so messy. I would used to walk into her office, and I'd be like, "How do you know where anything is right now?" And she'd be like, "Ask me for something. I bet you I find it." You know. <laughs> Because yeah. she knew in her mind where everything was, but it was it just it was like stacks and stacks of paper like this on top of each other in piles, and I was like, this would be a nightmare to me. Like I couldn't, I would be afraid of what might crawl from out underneath that stack of papers. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't dirty, but you know, you just you just yeah. never know. Yeah, <laughs> might be a sandwich up underneath there that you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So what do you wish people better understood about you? Mm. That I mean what I say and I say what I mean and it all comes with good intentions. You know, I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, we live in this world oftentimes where we have conversations, but sometimes people, you know, think they hear something or they misinterpret or they, you know, whatever. And I think if people just, I always try to, I always try to ask and seek clarity, yeah. you know, in what I say and, and how I speak and, and, and what people receive from me. I just hope that they understand me, you know, clearly. Um, and that, you know, it comes from a good place. Not to say that I'm, you know, out there just saying random stuff. It's just making people offended. But I think that's, I always, you know, I have these little goals that I set for myself, you know, um, a lot of people call it New Year's resolutions or, you know, whatnot. And for me, sometimes, uh, or one, one year it was, it was clarity. It was to always, you know, speak and for people to understand my intentions clearly. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what three words do you think best describe you? Uh, definitely curious. Um, passionate. And resilient. Yeah. Oh, I love those. <laughs> I feel like those are things that I've heard consistently from people throughout my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
Yeah. Um, so if you had a reality TV show about your life, what would it be called? Hmm. Hmm. You know, it's funny about this because I spent some time down south with my mom um, for like months at a time. I was, you know, helping her. Um, she was having some some health uh, things going on. And so I took some time off and went down and spent time with her, me and three dogs in her house. Now, you can imagine a woman my age <laughs> living with her mother in her home um, with her three dogs. <laughs> so I feel like I feel like it would be something around that, you know, just like <laughs> two queens, one castle with three dogs. <laughs> I love that. I think and that's so, a great title. You say what? There's a great title? Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's a great name. Yeah, because I had this one lab, like big lab mix dog. And you think that that would be the one that my mom would be the most wary about. And she love that dog better than the ones that I had before him <laughs> <laughs> oh. the way you used to see them stare at each other you know and it's so funny because my mom kind of occupied the top floor and I was downstairs you know in the house and so it was like this is my domain <laughs> <laughs> yeah but she would be like but it's still all my house <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I love that <laughs> um so what book from your childhood left a lasting impact? Oh, wow. Um, mm. You know, I was just telling someone the other day, actually, um, I used to love the Ramona Quimby books. I don't know if you remember those or those came across, but Ramona, Ramona reminded me a lot of myself as a kid because you know she was always getting into something yeah. <laughs> and having to like have this life lesson and sort of like, oh, okay, I get it. I shouldn't do that next time, you know, but they were always great lessons and I feel like it always did, you know, have an impact on her. And I feel like, you know, that was something that I always that always resonated with me because well one she I wasn't the only one out there getting in trouble all the time, but then two um, that there was this idea of moving forward, this idea of learning and evolving and growing, and you know you could start off thinking one thing or being one way about something, and then you can grow to a new understanding of it, you know? So I think that, and I guess that kind of goes back to the whole kind of keeping this curiosity, this nature of curiousness about you, you know, um, and, and your a willingness to learn and to change. Uh, yeah. So I think that, you know, that is something that I always um, hold dear. And I love the, I love the books from my childhood because I think they always encouraged me to embrace my youth, you know, and I always think even, like I said, like I said earlier, even as I get older, I always want to feel like, you know, there's this youthfulness. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, to I me. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So do you have a go-to show or movie that you watch when you just want to be comforted and kind of escape? Oh, yeah. I loved, um, I mean, again, this is another one. Like, I love so many. I loved a lot of the... Um, you know, like black film culture of the day, like um, the uh, coming to America, the, um, um, Diana Ross's films, like when Bill, you know, Billy, when, when Billy sings the blues, Sparkle, um, The Wiz, 
like all these, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, there are moments where I just want to Whoopi Goldberg and Sister Act, you know, where I just want to kind of go back to mm -hmm. things that I love to watch when I was a kid that inspired me that, um, you know, when I watched them, I was like, oh, I want to do that one day, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. um, kind of thing that just were feel good movies um that you know celebrated um black people and black culture and just our creativity and our artistry um that were beautiful or even things that were ugly you know it just kind of showed you know who we are as a people um I loved it like I was watching um again at home with my mom I was watching like Harlem Nights like some of the old um films with uh Martin Luther King, uh, Martin Luther King um Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor and 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 Red Fox and you know Della Reese and all these like amazing uh, black comedians uh, back in the day and I was just like oh yeah I love this kind of stuff yeah. oh. boomerang <laughs> you know I just... yeah. oh I love that <laughs> yeah I was watching um what was I watching the other day it was a film where like Jada Pinkett Smith and um, oh um, I just saw his face the other day. Um, uh, Jason's lyric. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's it's uh, his 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 name is skipping my my mind right now. But yeah, I just love watching those kind of films back in the day. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I uh... love a good Goonies too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Teen Wolf. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah I am yeah I have so many um shows and movies that I kind of just mm -hmm. rotate between when yeah. I need something that I don't know like when um I don't know when like I'm having a ton of anxiety or like a really bad day not like feeling well or kind of just yeah in kind of a bad mood that just kind of that just you know make me feel a hundred times better so yeah yeah absolutely absolutely and we deserve those those days and those moments you know to do the things that pick us up because they not only you know pick our spirits up our spirits up they remind us of a time, you know, that, you know, yeah, where we were happy or just like, oh man, when this movie came out, I remember I was doing this and you're just filled with all these memories. Yeah. On top of it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Teen Wolf is one of them. So come on now. <laughs> yeah. I will never get that scene where he's like riding around on the van on doing a handstand. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to try that. Yeah. <laughs> Mom was like, "Girl, no." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I um, I don't know. I was actually um surprised when I read that the show was actually inspired by the movie. Like they took the movie and made a whole show about that premise. And yeah, that, yeah. I watched the I watched the show. Yeah, it was a really yeah. good show. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah I so that is yeah definitely one of my comfort shows mm -hmm. yeah um so if you had a warning label what would yours say warning could explode <laughs> <laughs> I I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Could potentially explode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, so um so <clears throat> I love inspiring and motivational quotes and mm -hmm. Week, my favorite quotation is what if it does work out exactly how you imagined or mm. greater um is there a quotation that has inspired you lately mm. 
Well, there's one that I I live try to live by, um, and it's actually um, just one word. Um, it's you know it's honor of my father because it was literally reflective of the last conversation that he and I had. Uh, before he passed. And I just remember him saying, be ha happy, happy. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I try to embody, I try to, I try to, you know, like I said, find the happy, um, even in tough moments. And um, I love live, laugh, love. That's like one of my favorite, um, you know, just yeah. live, laugh, love. Yeah, because I think there's so many things and there's so many moments, you know, as you said earlier, where you just not, are not having a good day, or you're not feeling well, or you're just upset or yeah. something is just really just nagging at you. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you know, and it's in those moments where you have to, you know, and it's okay if you like have that moment, like, don't get me wrong, like have the moment and be, be you. Um, but if you can find, if, if I could find a way to eventually get to that happy or eventually get to that live, laugh, love, you know, that always gives me a hope that I'm working towards something, Yeah. you know, that like this funk that I'm in is just, is, is momentary. It's fleeting. It's, it'll come and it'll go. It'll pass. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Because I think people, I think people feel like, you know, it's, it's, you know, if you're having a bad day or, you know, you're not, you know, your best self that, you know, something, you know that it's not a good thing, and it's like no, like I'm just just yeah. as happy as it is an emotion in a in a in a in a moment in time. So are you know sadness, and so is like frustration, and so is anger. And I think I think if you don't allow yourself to experience and have that, then you can't move through it, and it just sits in you, and it becomes a disease, which then becomes a disease. So I just try to like be honest about that, you know, and have it, and then let it pass. Yeah, oh, as I get to my happy. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's a I feel like it's the same way. Like when I eat, like, cause I have a sweet tooth, as I told you. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you know, people try to deny, deny yourself the sweet. Oh, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. It's like, no, just put it in your fridge, put it in your cabinet and just know that it's there and you can go to it anytime you want to. And more likely than not, you're less likely to go get it only when you like need it instead of just like, going out and buy it and eat it all the time because you don't have it. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah that does. I, I think that's really <laughs> smart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, well, it was so much fun talking with you. I, Are we done? Yeah, that I was trying, I didn't want to take up more of your time, but I wanted to keep asking questions because I just want to keep talking with you. I do want to keep talking to you too. <laughs> we, we can talk more about um, shows and movies and yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Do you like scary movies? Do you like scary movies? I like, I like thrillers, but I don't okay. like, like true horror really okay um you know what about you I mean I kind of like them all you know I'm into thrillers I'm into psychological thrillers yeah. um I'm into a good old suspenseful one some of the ones that are just you know like um I don't want to name any names because I don't want to like offend any you know any any horror films because I like them all but you know the ones where it's just like slash or slash or kill 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 some of those I'm like whoa <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I'm like whoa <laughs> um but yeah I love a good I love a good suspense a good you know I love a lot of futuristic kind of sci-fi things as well you know I have a pretty wide weird <laughs> taste yeah. <laughs> yeah I um yeah psychological thrillers are some of my favorite movies I find mm -hmm. interesting yeah me too me too yeah oh, I can talk to you all day Maya you. you're yeah. so easy to talk to oh thank you you are too yeah <laughs> 
You're so easy to talk to. I, I found myself having to be like, Adrian, stop talking because I can ramble. <laughs> well, I found myself keep, like, I just, I wanted to keep hearing what you had to say. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Adrian, you're talking too much. Stop rambling. <laughs> I I can I ramble all the time like when I have to like when I'll call a friend of mine and it just goes to voicemail like the message will just be several minutes long because I don't know what to say and I get so uncomfortable I just keep talking and just (laughs) okay bye call me later (laughs) yeah and then I won't even know how I got to like a certain topic that I'm like right right or like wait why did I call (laughs) yeah 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 I'm this. I'm the exact same way. I'm the exact same way. So that's why sometimes I have to have my own little inner, you know, like stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like how long have you been talking for, Adrian? Yeah. 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 I I have to I have to do that. <clears throat> I can. Yeah. <laughs> just there's certain topics I can just could just keep talking about. Mm-hmm. So, like when we got on the rom-com I was like oh we can go at this one for a minute <laughs> yeah, yeah I just I wanted to keep talking about it yeah um, yeah yeah even now I just want to go back to the talking about rom com. so we'll have to have- well you know what I was going to say so, so, yeah. so wait I was going to say like the rom-com even before I think it became a category, there were like rom-com movies, you know? Yeah. Cause like I used to watch like how to how to marry a millionaire, like the movie a long time ago. With Mar- was it How to Marry a Millionaire, How to Catch a Millionaire with um 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 uh what's her name? Marilyn Monroe. Oh yeah. Like I'm going way back. Like breakfast yeah. at Tiffany's, like, let's go back. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, so I can, I can, like, I, cause I love watching even the, the, the old, you know, black and white films of the day. Yeah. I used to, speaking of, uh, psychological thrillers, I love me and Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. Like I go in. <laughs> yeah. I, um, yeah, I've never, I don't feel like I should admit, but I've never like seen his movies. Alfred Hitchcock? Oh. I don't think I have. I you know, you, you've you seen how he's influenced. Yes. Psychological yes. thrillers, for, I mean, or, or, you know, scary movies for sure. So like yes. if you watched some, some, some of the things you probably do like, like in that, in that genre, if you yes. went back and watched an Alfred Hitchcock, you'd be like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, like there was a, there was a project that I just completed. There was a project. Oh my God. It literally, I just completed back in December and I'm still on the on a conversation thread with a lot of those cast members and one of them sent us a link they were like you know guys after we finished filming this I feel like there were parts of this film that were a little Alfred Hitchcock in (laughs) and so like I was watching the film like oh my god I can see it. <laughs> so his influence is 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 definitely in a lot of films today, for yeah. sure. For yeah, sure. Yes, yeah. I know of his like I know of his movies, but I can't mm-hmm. remember right now if I've seen. Yeah, like the Alfred Hitchcock Hour, which was just you know like episodes of, you know, like he had the movies, but then he had the Alfred. I think it's called the Alfred Hitchcock Hour or something like that. And it was just like little short story movies. And, and even those were uh, incredible. <laughs> like you were like, wow, he really just busted out a whole like scary movie in like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah. It was it was really it's really interesting. It's really, you know. But yeah. any case, again, I can go, I can go and go. Yeah. <laughs> Too. Um, <laughs> did he um I can't remember. Did he do the movie Rear Window? I can't remember if that was him. Um, I don't know. Look, you got me over here like Googling real quick. I don't, 
I can't say off the off the cuff, but I can I can look it up because it just popped up. Yeah. Um, but any case, yeah. it looks like something he would do. Yeah, I but no. Okay. It doesn't his name doesn't see is I don't see his name on it, but Okay. I don't yeah. know. I don't know why that might Oh be no, it was Alfred Hitchcock. Okay. Look yeah, at you. Look at you on it and knowing it. Oh yay! <laughs> yeah, I still didn't remember because I that movie just popped into my head when you said his name, and I then I was questioning myself. Did you like it? I okay. So I, um, I the reason that popped into my head is because I haven't seen. I it's on my list of movies to see. I want to oh, watch. Okay. But I haven't seen it. I've seen, you know, all these shows and things that have episodes that are and other movies that are inspired by that movie. Uh yeah. Like yeah. similarities yeah. to it. So Yeah, he's he's influenced a lot. You know, it's definitely um it's you know an incredible a testament, I think, to storytelling and his his style of storytelling for sure. But even yeah. today it's still being you know, honored through what we see and what's 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 yeah. being told today, for sure. I hope to have that kind of impact. Yeah. Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And um, I just want uh, I just wanted to tell you really quickly. Also, just when we were talking about comfort shows, Pretty Hard Cases is one, another one of my comfort shows. So oh, I watch oh. that uh, all the time. So that's so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> that, that means a lot to me because you know that was a very difficult time, you know, in in our in our in our history, in our world, and in our um, industry. You know, filming during a pandemic and a lockdown. That's yeah. when we started that show, and so there was a lot of uncertainty, you know, yeah. and then trying to film a show that was, you know, reflective of the world, but not reflective of what was currently going on in the world uh, yeah. was, was a, was a task. It was yeah. a task. So I, I it's, so, it's so interesting, you know, it's like people watch it and they have their experience of it. And I watch it and I have my experience, you know, of like, Oh yeah, I remember that time. We did that. It was like masked down for 30 seconds. We had to put it right back on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, it's like the BTS of it all. It goes off in my head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, there's so many things that just kind of like I remember so many parts of, you know, lockdown and there's certain things that bring back those memories. And yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. So much fun. Thank you yeah. so much, Maya. Thank you. Thank you. I so appreciate your taking the time today. And I hope you have a great day. And I just will you be my best friend. I know. <laughs> I was like, I was afraid to ask too. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't have to promise me we'll just have to have another one of these. Yes. Definitely. You know, I know. I don't know if you if you invite guests back for a second time, but yeah. you know, I'm saying you can invite me back. <laughs> yeah. I whenever you want to come back on, I would. Yeah, love to I would love to. Yeah, I would love to. Like I said, you're so easy to talk to. Oh, thank you. You're so easy to talk to. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, I I so appreciate your taking the time and. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. I think I got to go take my dogs for a checkup appointment now. They got to go get, their, <laughs> get all their like checkups and vaccinations and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks so, so much, Maya. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. And that's a wrap on today's edition of The Latest with Maya.